I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations. Oh, 'cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. Whoa, you're so strong. Good job. Glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you. You take all my wrongs and make them better. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought we would do a get it all done. I have tons of things I need to get done around the house and I haven't filmed one of these in a while so I thought it would be really fun. I did post on Instagram asking if you guys would like to see one of these and you said you did. So for today I definitely need to do the floors. Austin walked through the house with his dirty football cleats and got dirt on the floors. So I wanna do the floors, I need to get some laundry done some normal cleaning. I also need to run to the grocery store for a few things. Adrian only has half a day of school today, so I figured I'm gonna run the errands after I pick her up since I only had a short amount of time in between like school drop off and then her pickup. So I came home, did a quick workout. I'm about to eat a quick breakfast and then we're gonna get busy around the house. So I quickly made some eggs with veggies on top of a salad with some Greek yogurt and then I was ready to get started on all of my cleaning. I really needed to get some laundry going. Of course, per usual, I was behind. So first things first, we're going to get a load of laundry going. So I got the laundry going. Now I'm just going to pick up the stuff on the floor so I can sweep and get the dirt. There's like little pieces of dirt all over the floor. And I'm thinking out loud, we won't need nothing else. It really wasn't too messy in here, just his magnetic tiles were all over the floor because y'all, he's still obsessed with them. We play every single day with them, but in order to sweep the floors, I needed to pick those up and move the chairs out of the way because there was so much Pop-Tart crumbs underneath these bar stools. It was insane. I'm a sweet baby. I am really excited to be filming a get it all done. I feel like I haven't done one of these in so long on my cleaning channel. So please let me know if you enjoy videos like this because I would love to create more of them. But in today's video, of course, there's going to be tons of cleaning. But I'm also going to be taking you guys grocery shopping with me for a few things. I will share the grocery haul and I'm also going to be cooking dinner with y'all and doing my nightly cleaning up routine as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please let me know down in the comments if you do. you guys have been here for a while then you know that I have two girls and two boys and their ages are from 12 all the way down to two so a lot of my kids do have chores so one of the things that the girls do are the dishes so my 12 year old will load the dishwasher and then my nine year old picks up the dishes so typically I leave the dishes unless there's a lot of hand washing that needs to be done I'll do it but if there's just regular old dishes from breakfast or whatever, I'll just leave it until after they get back from school so they can get it done. So as you can see, I'm just kind of clearing off the countertops, wiping them down. They were a bit sticky just from breakfast and everything. Whenever you're around, yeah, yeah. Whenever you're around, whenever you're around.
kitchen is much better, just tidied up. The floors have no more dirt on them, so <laughs> that is awesome. Wipe down the table, and now we're just going to tackle the laundry, and then I'm gonna play with Ethan for a little bit because he wants to play. He went to go get some paper. He's gonna draw on it. He had the twister game, and he was like, okay, I'm done. So now he's gonna color. And just so you guys know, today is not like every single day. Some days, Ethan just wants me to play with him the entire time, and that's okay too. The chores can always wait, so don't ever feel like you have to get all your tasks done around the house. They're gonna be there for you whenever you're ready for them. Make sure you enjoy the moments and when your kids want you to play with them because the time is fleeting. It goes by so fast. Like, it still blows my mind that Ethan is my youngest and our last baby and he's almost three years old so I really do try to cherish all the one-on-one -on -one time even though there are times where I feel super overwhelmed and I'm like oh my goodness like my to-do list is so long but I always have to remind myself that this is just a season of life and I really do have to embrace it and cherish those moments even though I know it's gonna put me behind on the other things that I need to get done. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on then We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could be Quickly going to pick up the clothes that I folded before playing with Ethan and I love making my bed. I try to do this almost every single day. It doesn't always happen, but I do try to make a point because for one, I think it's just really nice when you walk into your room and your bed is made. And for two, because I use my Peloton and having those pillows all over the floor, it just, it drives me crazy. So <laughs> I've been doing a better job now that I have the Peloton at making my bed. Sometimes when I'm reasoning about it. making a list well making sure I have everything on my list I started it last night of the things that I need to pick up from probably HEB I think we're just gonna run into HEB I am gonna be picking up a few things that's gonna go in the box to win for the giveaway for hitting 25,000 subscribers you guys are seriously amazing thank you so much it seriously means so much to me you guys have no idea I can't believe I'm at 25,000 I am so appreciative to every single one of you and if you missed it i am giving back so i'm gonna do a surprise box that's gonna have like my favorite goodies in it and i'm going to be picking at random one of you guys to get it but i do have to finish picking up everything so as soon as i have everything and the box is ready i will announce it and tell you guys how to enter in but Today, when I go to HEB, there are a few things there that I want to pick up. So I put those down on my list. I have a few things I want to pick up for like meals, not full meals, just like little things that I need for them, like mushrooms, salad, stuff like that. So making my list, that way I don't forget anything. We roughly have about 45 minutes or so until we have to go get Adrian. So I'm gonna make my list really quick and go check my front door because I think I just got a package. <laughs> Ethan wants to open it. I'm gonna get the scissors to help him. Let's see what's inside. Watch your hands. Let me 
Put it right here. Okay. Open it up. Good job. I ordered some new, um, I did order, it didn't come in this one, but I ordered a leggings and bra workout set, and then this is a new shirt that I found on there I thought was so cute. Let's show them. Ooh. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, look how cute. It says mama, and I just thought the cheetah print is too cute you guys the workout set that i got is also cheetah hopefully it comes in today so i can show y'all oh it's so cute i might have to change my clothes put on some like you know regular jeans and my new shirt oh my gosh you guys i love it i'm surprised the material is almost like a stretchy like it has like a stretch to it it's really comfy like super comfy material <gasps> So cute. Okay, I might have to go put some shorts on. And it shows if I'm honest. You're the leaves in mid August. And I've come out here to say that I love you. Ooh, ooh. Oh, mom, this is a candle. So adorable. Nathan, did you get soap up your nose and in your mouth? Yeah. That's why we don't play with soap. Here's the creamer I get, but I haven't seen the Dunkin' Pumpkin Spy or Pumpkin Munch. Ooh. Carve a pumpkin already. It's a yeah. little early. Here is my really small H-E-B grocery haul I wanted to share with you guys. We're gonna start over here. The kids were begging for some oatmeal cream pies, so I got them some of those and also some cosmic brownies. I needed some more bagels. I love the Boomin' Berry by Dave's Killer Bread, and they're organic and made with whole grains, and they're so delicious. This is my new obsession for the fall, the Silk Almond Creamer in Pumpkin Spice. It's so good. This is a favorite of mine, you guys. They are so good. If you're in Texas and you have a H-E-B near you, you need to try the cashews and the grande salsa verde. Oh, so good. I eat way too many of them at one in one sitting, but oh, they're so good. <laughs> also got a pineapple so I can cut it up and snack on that. Our bananas are going bad, so we picked up another thing of bananas. I just ran out of my wild rice, so I got this wild rice blend. I also needed some more salad, so I got a baby spring mix. This is the exact same canister I currently have. I recently broke the handle off of mine, and so I was like, you know what? It's the perfect time to get one because these were on sale for 50% off. I got this for $5.50, like such a good deal, and this one is bigger than my other canister, so it's gonna be perfect to hold all my coffee. These were just too stinking cute. I had to get them. Adrian really wanted them. I thought this would be really cool in the kids' bathroom, so I got two of them. We couldn't decide between the silver or the black. They only had one silver left, so we got one of each. I also needed a bell pepper to cut up and put in my eggs. I got one cucumber for me to snack on. I got some blueberries. These were only like four something, and it's a huge container, so it's a really good deal. And I also got some strawberries, just something else for me to snack on. I'm really trying to be healthy right now, so I'm trying to eat fruit for like desserts and snacks. I also needed more eggs, so I got the large 36 count. I typically get the cage-free brown eggs, but y'all, eggs are so expensive right now. So I just got this one, and this one was $8.
I also needed some more of my mascara. This is my favorite mascara right here. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar in the blackest of black. I love this, so I picked up some more. This is gonna be going in my surprise box. I figured I will show you guys a few things, not everything that's gonna be in the box, but I have these makeup remover cloths and I am obsessed, so I picked out those to send to y'all. Also needed some women care stuff. <laughs> Got these toothpicks because we're almost out of toothpicks and it was only two bucks. So got two containers of them. This is something that I didn't need, but Ethan decided to open up the bubble bath and squeeze it. He went to smell it and he squeezed it right into his mouth and like up his nose. And of course I didn't have my baby wipes with me. So I had to run over, grab the baby wipes, clean his mouth out. I had to run, go grab him a bottle of water. Like y'all, it was a hot mess, such a hot mess, but I'm gonna keep these in my purse. The kids also needed some more detangling spray. I've been buying the, um, I forget what the brand, I think it's like Suave, but it was like $5. This one was only three something in the baby aisle. So I went ahead and got this just, just to save a few extra dollars. And I think this one works really well. Just Austin doesn't like the smell of it cause it is like a baby powder smell kind of. I think it smells good, but he doesn't. <laughs> um, I got some more Baby Bella mushrooms. I love putting these in my scrambled eggs for breakfast, so I got a big container of that. If you guys watch my vlogging channel, I uploaded a what I eat in the day today as well, so y'all need to go check it out because I make this new dessert using these dates, and it's seriously to die for. I'm obsessed, so I already needed to buy another thing of dates because I've been eating them like crazy. You like those too. Yeah. <laughs> and then I picked up a scrub mommy. Y'all know I'm obsessed with these. This is also going to go in my box to you guys. And then these were just something that <laughs> Adrian really wanted. We're going to put this on the front porch. Just cute little tiny pumpkins. They were only 85 cents each. So I was like, let's get a couple of them to go on the front porch. I'm sure they're gonna go bad before Halloween, but it's a cute little decorative thing. But that is everything that I got from HEB. I spent a total of $135. When they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Every night When I close my eyes Way past this one's nap time He went and grabbed his passy Got his water Alright buddy, let's go lay down Let's go put them on the porch. My poor plant is dying too. Okay, just put it right beside the other little one. Or maybe up on the top. Right here? Yeah, there you go. Perfect. So cute. By the time I was done picking up everything, I was starving. Thankfully, I have my factor meals that are super quick and easy, pop into the microwave, and I have a meal ready to go. And then by this time, you guys, I had to go get the other kids from school, do homework and everything. It is now time for me to get dinner started. We got all the kids back. We did homework all of that fun stuff. So now I'm gonna make something for dinner. I'm making this cabbage soup. It's one of my favorite soups, super easy to make, jam packed with so many good vegetables. I do add meat to mine. You can make this without meat, but I personally like it a little bit more with the meat and it's more filling that way. I will link this recipe down in the description in case you guys wanna check it out. And of course, just add the meat if you wanna copy mine, but it's super easy. And of course, I got my Instapot and all you're gonna need is Two cans of diced tomatoes, some apple cider vinegar, some minced garlic, some chicken broth, and then cabbage, celery, onions, and carrots. We're gonna chop all of this up, throw it into the Instapot, let it cook on high pressure for about 15 minutes. But before I do all that, I am going to cook my ground beef. I had it thawing out all day. So I'm gonna cook this in the Instapot on, um, on saute really quick 
cook it up and then I'll add all my cut up veggies. This meal is so easy to make and you guys it's seriously so delicious I know when you look at it or you hear cabbage soup it doesn't make you like <laughs> think oh my gosh that sounds amazing but it's honestly so good all of the kids enjoy this meal Austin and Ethan complain but they do like it with some Parmesan cheese and I love having this on hand it's something quick and easy to warm up and it's so nutritious so make sure you check this recipe out I also throw in some Italian seasoning I put a lot in there I personally love that seasoning inside the soup it's not part of the recipe just something that I've always done but it's definitely a good one I'm just not tired I can hear the raindrops falling It's cold outside And I kind of feel like calling But it's too late now I just miss you Dinner was so good But now it's time to quickly just tidy up the kitchen a little bit. The girls already did the dishes, that's their chore. So I'll just come in, finish up the kitchen, and I also need to switch the laundry over. So first we're gonna get the laundry done, tidy up the kitchen, and we will call it a day. While I was doing the laundry, Austin is running around picking up all of the toys off of the floor. His chore is to clean up downstairs at nighttime, pick up all the toys. His other chore is to take out all the trash in all the bathrooms. So he's doing that also while I'm busy. My kids do earn an allowance. They like buying things on Roblox. So every single Friday, they get $5 and typically they use it for Roblox, but Adrienne does like to save her money. I think she has like over $40 right now. She's my little saver. I'm so proud of her. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can hear the raindrops It's cold. The sky was so beautiful this night. We had just gotten a random thunderstorm, a crazy like lightning and thunder and everything, but the sky was so pretty when it got done. So I just wanted to show you guys what it was looking like. But now that it's getting a little bit later, it's almost the kids' bedtime. This is typically when I try to get the kitchen finished up. That way I can just relax once they go to bed. That's my me time. Like. I am a true believer in routine and having a set routine is so important, especially for, you know, us mamas out there. Like we don't get a lot of downtime. So it's really important to have a set bedtime, at least for me. That way I know like they're going to be in bed. I'm going to have either some peace and quiet or I can do some self-care. Just, you know, whatever I need for myself, I know I can do it at night. So I definitely prioritize making a routine for both nap time and bedtime and it really just works for our family. Much better, nice and cleaned up. I just have to put our dinner in the fridge but I gotta let it cool down for a little bit longer before I can so do that. I told the kids to clean the bathroom because it was disgusting, so. Let's see how they did. Let's see it. Yeah. Whoa, it's spotless. Good job. Y'all did a great job. Even took out the trash. Well, yeah. Thanks. Y'all did an awesome job. 
guys, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and close it out. I hope you enjoyed getting it all done with me and this style of video. I haven't done one of these in forever and it was really nice to mix it up and do something a little bit different. So let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this or if there's anything else you wanna see from me. I really wanna start mixing it up here on my cleaning channel if it's grocery hauls. Uh, shopping hauls, get it all done, whatever it is, let me know what you wanna see from me. But if you are new here, I'd love for you to subscribe, join my YouTube family. I upload every single week, tons of cleaning motivation with a little bit of motherhood mixed in there and I would love to have you here. But I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one, bye.